All right, so I have a lineup of something that I have never heard before, and it is it appears to be a TikTok trend. And as we know, uh, this, the Chinese psyop company known as TikTok loves to publish trends that are detrimental to the health of the psychological health of Westerners. And so this trend, which is, um, I want to see if any, can anyone guess what I'm going to talk about? I want to see if anyone can guess. This is, I will give you a hint. It's a trend. It's a, it's a, it's a video thing encouraging people to go out and promote their unhealthy lifestyle, but I'll give you a hint. It's not gay related. It's not gay related. Nothing about trannies, nothing about, um, uh, like feminism or anything like that or NPC streamers. Dink, Leafy is Hitler. You got it. <laughs> what a great name to shout out. Leafy is Hitler. Congratulations. Um, so Dink stands for double income, no kids. You can also be a sink, which is a single income, no kids. And uh, TikTok has encouraged people who are in these uh, non-productive, non-reproductive relationships to go out and uh, profess their lifestyle to the masses, how great it is not to have children because you get to keep all your money. Okay, most of you watching this right now are sinks. You're single income, no kids. If you're living with a significant other, you're a dink, double income, no kids. If you want kids in the future, you're a sinky or a dinky, double incomes, no kids yet. One of my favorites is the dink wad, double income, no kids with a dog. Similarly, the dink wa, double incomes, no kids with a house. Now, because of the math, if you're a dink, that automatically makes your parents podwogs, parents of dinks without grandkids. And if you're a dink wad, that makes your parents pod wads, parents of dinks with a dog. Oh, and if you're a one income, no kids, and you're living on a farm, that makes you an oink. All that's bullshit, by the way. He's just making fun of the acronym. The one that I came up uh, is stinky. Single taxable income, no kids, and young. So if you are, and which, by the way, stink is funny because that does sound like an actual thing you would checkbox on the 1099 form for the, or WT, I think 1099 for the IRS. Yeah, I'm a stinky. I'm a stinky boy. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know how many others of you are out there are stinky, but uh, you can look forward to this. <laughs> the IRS trying to keep hip and trend on their next 1099 forms. They're just going to have you check if you're a dink or a stinky or uh if or some other bizarre tiktok acronym you're gonna have to learn that if you're a um a, a cra or whatever an accountant for the taxes stinky you're not young josh it's true well as of last year i'm not young i'm gonna get older here in a little bit we're dinks we go to trader joe's and workout classes on the weekends we're dinks we get into snobby hobbies like skiing and golfing we're dinks we can go to florida on a whim we're dinks we're already planning our european vacation next year dinks we get a full eight hours of sleep and sometimes more <laughs> we're dinks we get desserts and appetizers at restaurants we're dinks we can play with other kids and give them back <laughs> <laughs> we're dinks we still do it three times a week <laughs> we're dinks we spend our discretionary income on eight dollar latte <laughs> we're dinks we max out our 401ks roth iras and hsas we're dinks we don't use our kids or dog as an excuse to leave a party we just leave <laughs> we're dinks we go to trade I like how like condescendingly smug they are. Yeah, we waste our money. We save for the future so that when we die, we will die alone in comfort chat. I will die alone in my palatial estate with my dogs. My cat will eat my face and it will be a high quality cat meal for them after my death. Uh, I've chosen a 501c3 to receive the value of my estate on death. It's a, it's a, it's a, the ASPCA so that other cats may eat with the money that I've worked my entire life for. It's very basic. They'll divorce in 15 years. She'll get 80s girled by then, then. Oh, speaking of eating my, oh, fuck. I didn't, I pulled up the clip and I didn't forget it. I forgot all about it, but thankfully, I, um, uh, another Ian Miles Chong clip has jumped out at me. We're now taking a detour. Urgent detour, chat. Okay, this is Ian Miles Chong. This is the dog clip. Let's see. Uh, several sheriff's deputies showed up to my father's house and threw a flashbang in the pool with uh, my dad's dog in it. So you blew up a fucking yellow Labrador retriever uh, because of mistaken <laughs> identity. Real. 
So, and I know that's food in your country and all, but look, that's not. <laughs> oh my God. Very Wait, shameful. Freeze. Reverse. I am a mod in this chat. Right here, and there is literally nothing wrong with toxic. <laughs> there I am. How am I a mod in Ralph's chat? What, what, what year was this? Four years ago. January 2019. A whole different world, apparently. <laughs> Very shameful display, so to speak. Uh, no, no. So I was misled, clearly misled. And the idea was that you were, you know, you were this guy, right? And that the only, you know, the only threat to you was not to go, like, expose your dad. That would be fucking retarded. No, the suggestion. Uh, and this uh, is, this is David Sharon. This said, is not. No, no, no. No, no, no. Let me let me explain. Yeah. So the idea here was that we tell your dad about what you're doing. We tell your dad about what you're doing because he's a certain somebody, right? You know, and, you know, you know, how, you, you know, like how old I am. No, dude, I have no idea. And I'm I'm about thirty. Okay. So like, I don't live with my parents. I don't care what my parents think. I mean, I do to an extent. Of course, everybody like, does. Yeah. I'm not beholden to like anybody hmm. else. So yeah, you know, like I, like I said, I'm not one of these people right. who yeah. like lives with their parents. And it's like, oh my god, my parents find out. <laughs> oh fuck, you know. So I'm just, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm offering some constructive criticism. This isn't to goof on you or whatever. I'm, I'm a nice guy, and I think you'll find that. Like I'm, a, I'm a compassionate person. But as a compassionate <laughs> person, I have to tell you that your plan is full of fucking shit. And, Dude, uh, it was fucked up. My dad was totally out of line. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, totally yeah I know, totally. Totally didn't deserve to to get flash banged and all that. Totally apologize for that. She's born now. She's born. <laughs> oh, it's in my regards. Uh, yeah, but so, yeah, no, seriously, so, though, that was a fuck up. That was a fuck up. Now you're oh. laughing. You think that's funny? No, absolutely not. Very bizarre. I don't know how to. I guess like Wild Goose is accusing him of doing this, and then instead of just like saying that wasn't me, he just laughs along with it. I I kind of understand what's happening in that, but. Everyone is haunted by uh, their history in IBS. And by the way, I was wrenched in this chat because he you can't verify people on YouTube. So for accounts like the Medicare account, which was never verified, and for my YouTube account, uh, there was the ha habit back in the day when people were still on the YouTube platform of giving out uh, wrenches as sort of like badges to identify like authentic users and shit. Just saying. Anyways, here's what EML Chong has to share. The dink phenomenon is completely out of control. We're dinks. We're going to be asked constantly by family, friends, and strangers when we're going to have kids. We're dinks. We're going to go to Costco and buy all the snacks we want. We're dinks. We're going to support our friends who have kids, even if we decide to never have any. I think that you can go to Costco and buy snacks, even if you have kids. Like, I think Rakeda has like eight kids or six or whatever. I get this number wrong every time, but I'm pretty sure that he has a $3,000 a month snack budget. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that motherfucker is going to Costco and loading up. We're dinks. We're going to have, fuck. we're dinks. We're going to have lots of, fuck. We're dinks. We're going to have lots of disposable income to spend on whatever we like. We're dinks. We're going to get chastised by people on the internet because they're going to assume that we're just obsessed with material things, even though arguably, you need a lot more material things once you have kids. What? So, so the criticism is that you're materialistic and that's why you don't want to have kids. But when you brag about what you can do without having kids, it's so far it's 100% materialistic. It, it's so materialistic that it's snacks from Costco. That's what you're prioritizing over having a family and progressing in life. What the fuck? This, these people are retarded. Look at this face. Look at this evil face. We're dinks. We don't need to find a sitter or rope our family into babysitting when we want to go out for the night. We're dinks. We're going to be told the only way that we'll ever be fulfilled in life is by having kids. We're dinks. We're going to book flights whenever we feel like it. We're dinks. We're so Whoa. So you're double income, but you're going to book flights whenever you feel like it. Uh, I think that you're going to be asking for permission from two different employers before you make decisions about where you're going to go for the week. So, I don't know. I guess that doesn't count, though, because it's not your kids.
still gonna stick to it. It's better to be loyal to a uh, soulless, mindless, multinational conglomerate organization that owns every facet of your life than it is to be, you know, beholden to your own flesh and blood, I guess. Strict budget to meet our financial goals, no matter how much wiggle room we have in our finances. We're dinks. We're not gonna make a life altering choice just because everybody else is doing it. Period. <laughs> We're genetic dead ends. We're gonna swing from the rafters. <laughs> Swig says the great replacement is just a conspiracy theory. If the great replacement is just a conspiracy theory, please explain the recent dink psyop that came out of nowhere featuring only homogenous traditional American couples. We're dinks. We're gonna get asked daily when we plan on having kids. We're dinks. Of course we're gonna go out. Oh my God, bro. I think this motherfucker is raking it in. This guy isn't has a two hundred thousand dollar a year income. Gonna go I wonder why she doesn't want to have his kids. Chat. You want to take some guesses? Eat every night after work. We're dinks. We don't have to ask our family for financial help or to watch our kid when we want to go out. We're dinks. We're gonna go to Costco and buy all the snacks in bulk that we want. We're dinks. We have disposable income to spend on whatever we would like and don't have to spend on a kid. We're dinks. I'm going to go to every football game and play 18 holes whenever I want. We're dinks. We're going to get asked at every single family event what we're doing with our life. We're dinks. We're Posting on TikTok with children. Oh, I got more of those. Sorry if you hate it. <laughs> this is my, I guess this is my new fascination. Each stream I will pick something that I hate and for, subject you to it for an hour. This is your five minutes of hate. Andy Swan, I don't know what a dink couple is, but apparently it's something to do with both of them pretending to be gay men. The so Saturday morning vlog as a dink couple, 8.04 a.m. They're making the bread, the bed. They're then making breakfast. Okay, now they're eating breakfast and using the computer. She's leaving. Um, so they just ate, so they went out to a coffee shop. If I had that kind of disposable income, I would buy like an espresso machine or something. Um, more coffee. Okay. Now they're at, what is this? Whole Foods. Okay. By the way, I think this is the, correct me if I'm wrong, but is Whole Foods the one that has the palm print scanner? That looks like the, I saw this in another video. It was like a palm print scanner. So you can like, attach your payment information to your palm print and then when you go into these uh these these whole foods you can pay by using your palm print to just like press it on and then like assign payment uh one of the most nightmarish fucking things i've ever heard of in the entire world uh that looks like it that looks very similar to what i saw in the other videos cool unpacking Then they get shit from Amazon, and now they're on the couch. Okay. Congrats, you have nothing to do. <laughs> um, one th people thing people fail to get, these are not random organic viral trends. The dink trend is a great from corporate social media marketing. It's truly fucking sad how much algos are controlling us, this Costco ad. That reminds me of, um, so this is like an actual Costco ad. A people there was Costco mentioned in the other video too. Remember the guy says that he buys a bunch of candy from Costco? Is is Costco paying couples to say that they're dinkalicious and post on social media about it? Is this the same couple? Things in her early 30s. I sit here it is. Thought, well, I get this is the same people as before. Are these people these people are literally being paid by Costco to advertise a dink lifestyle? It's so I, I lined this up completely incidentally, and I just realized that they're advertising that they spend two hundred fifty-two dollars at Costco and eat there and worship there, the worship to gods of Costco, I guess. Cool. Keemstar says, by the way, if you are thirty or older with no kids, you're a retarded loser. I keep seeing these couples on TikTok flexing they're not having kids so they earn enough money for themselves. Loser, loser, loser. I'm happy these retards DNA won't exist in the future like mine will. So chat, I wanna remind you, Keemstar has one kid. She's a stepdaughter. She is not genetically related to him. So, you know, it's fine. You wanna say this, that's cool.
I agree with you, maybe even. But um, <clears throat> Keemstar, you don't have any kids related to you, and it's not even like specifically, you know, adoption or stepfathers are included in this. He specifically says these retards DNA. So this is a genetic thing that he's talking about. She is his daughter. It, no, it's his girlfriend's daughter. She's not related. I'm pre I'm I'm ninety percent sure that he has a stepdaughter, and that's not his real daughter. No, his ex girlfriend's stepdaughter is still in his life and is not genetically related to him, and he's now dating another woman who is nineteen. King does not have any kids. I'm gonna ask him. Okay, fuck, give me a second. <clears throat> Let's see. Keem, sorry, I cannot DM him. Hey, bro, aren't you a stepdad? Only question mark. Okay, I have now asked him. We will see. We will see who is right. Make sure to like and subscribe to my zitter to try and force King to reply. He will never fucking adopt this, by the way. Um, he either is like the stepfather or he had like formally adopted her from another relationship. But I, I am like, I am very certain that she is not related to him. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.